it is clear and indisputable that a significant number of illegal immigrants will receive checks and are receiving checks right now. All 100 members of this body were misinformed by the Democratic senator that no illegal aliens would receive fact checks, or would receive, rather, checks under the, uh, stimulus checks. So I want to give my colleagues a chance to adopt the amendment now with the correct information, with the true information, with the factual information. And I would note as well, in these deeply partisan times, it's easy for Republicans to throw insults at Democrats. It's easy for Democrats to throw insults at, at Republicans. Far too much of that occurs. The senator from Illinois, who is a friend who I've served with for nine years, is a talented senator. I am not here suggesting that when he stood up and spoke on the Senate floor and said things that were absolutely false, that he did so knowingly and maliciously. I would certainly give the senator from Illinois the benefit of the doubt that he was in error rather than deliberately misstating facts. But the facts are now clear. We have a rule in this body, Rule 19, to reprimand any senator who impugns the, the character and integrity of another senator. I'm not going to seek refuge in that rule, although I think there's an argument that I could. But I will say this, that once the facts have been made clear, I hope my friend from Illinois will show the same principle Newsweek showed, to apologize, to say he was wrong and he's sorry for calling me a liar on the Senate floor and then going to Twitter to do so twice.